two heats and wins and the Grenadines Antigua and Barbuda, Barbados and Bahamas and the Grenada scheduled to go in the first heat. The game's record set back in 2013 by Jamaica. The only event one we have qualifying, the only 4x4 four four event that we have a qualifying round. Encouraging still, Ricardo, to see the numbers coming out. Uh, you always like to, to see heats and give the young athletes a chance to get themselves ready and get a feel for what it takes to make it to the final. Some of them already will have had that level of experience, but a lot of them will not have had. On your marks. St. Vincent of the Grenadines, Antigua and Barbuda, Barbados, Bahamas and Grenada. Very difficult for a lot of these countries to, over a three-day period, field four by one teams, four by four teams, a mixed relay team. A little bit easier for, for the uh, Eastern Caribbean territories when it is in the Eastern Caribbean. Sir? Travel in the Caribbean, still prohibitive as they go on. St. Vincent and the Grenadines, Antigua and Barbuda, Barbados, Bahamas and Grenada. Antigua and Barbuda with Condre Pascal going well. Barbados have Nikolai Clark on their opening leg. St. Vincent and the Grenadines with work to do. Bahamas also going well. They are in lane number six. Bahamas and Grenada. Zion Shepard there coming down for the Bahamas. Measuring Devon Ferguson. They come to the first change. The Bahamas just ahead of Grenada. By the way, top three short to go through, plus the two next best times. And the Bahamians Eden going Kelly well with Kelly. Over. Tygon Peterkin for Grenada in close pursuit. Antigua and Barbuda in third position. Barbados in fourth position. Battle on for that third and a final automatic qualifying spot. But it is Bahamas ahead of Grenada. Kelly pulls away into the home stretch. He will pass first, but here comes Antigua and the Barbuda. Bahamas in front, Grenada in second. Antigua and Barbuda separating themselves from Barbados in that third and final automatic qualifying spot. Giovanni Bridgewater with the baton. But here comes uh, Quanel Pierre for Grenada. I think this is the first we've seen of him at these games. He's been aching to get on the track. Pierre leads for Grenada, but the Bohemians respond. Bridgewater circling the Grenadian. Giovanna Bridgewater taking the Bahamas well clear on this penultimate leg. They'll hand over first. Grenada still holding an automatic qualifying position as the Bohemians continue to dominate this with Berkeley Munnings, their four hurdler on the anchor leg. And it will take something special to get back to him, but the Grenadians will try. Here comes Barbados trying to get that third position qualifying spot. Barbados ahead of Antigua and Barbuda at the moment, but it's Bahamas. The Grenadians are closing, you know. The Grenadians are coming forward. Let's see how close they will be able to get. Joshua Grenada Sylvester. will come through to win the heat. Fabulous finish. Terrific anchor leg run from Sylvester. Porpero snatched third. Well, they love it. Sylvester is the new star of St. George's. Joshim Sylvester with a fine run there to give his team 
victory in that semi-final. 3-12.09, the time for them. St. Vincent and the Grenadines well down. They finish in fifth. Sylvester here well behind. Munnings on anchor for the Bahamas. But here comes Sylvester in front of the grandstand, in front of his home crowd. They're cheering him on. Munnings coming down the home street, but unaware of the danger manifesting at his back. And Sylvester takes the win for the Spice Isle. They're both into the final. Should be interesting later on this evening. They'll have to return and do it once again for the final race of the Carifta Games. Kieran Haynes anchoring Barbados at third place there. 317.65 for them. The Bahamas, 312.51. And uh, Grenada, the heat winner. The three of them are through, and Antigua and Barbuda will be watching the times in the second semi-final to see what might happen for them. So to Wilson Vincent and the Grenadines.